is on January 10th, 2017, two days before there was a leak in the Washington Post that General right. Flynn was going to be investigated about the Logan Act, and you recorded Stefan Halper talking about Flynn. Let's roll that recording right now. If you go in the NSC, you have to, uh, you have to consider very carefully mm -hmm. uh, if you feel it's, it's appropriate for you to work for Flint or yeah. you want to work with. I don't think Flint's going to be around long. Yeah. I mean, that's just my guess. But, right, uh, right. The way the thing, these things work, you inevitably find yourself at odds with someone. Yeah. I mean, you always do. Yeah. Probably lots of people. Right. And when you're opponents, so we'll call them enemies, but when people right, oppose right, right. you right. are looking for ways of uh, exerting pressure, they go to people that they know you're at odds with. Right, right. And that's how it builds, mm -hmm. and then eventually you get squeezed yeah. pretty hard. And that, that was my kind of lesson. See, but Flynn's reaction to that is to blow up and get angry. Yeah, yeah. He's really I don't know where he goes from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is his reaction. Right. That's why he's so unsuitable. So what do you think was going on here, Stephen? Do you think Halper was working for the FBI or the CIA and getting paid by the Office of Net Assessment to dirty up Flynn and, and, and dirty up Trump campaign officials? How did he know Flynn was about to blow up two days before it was in The Washington Post? Right, and, and, and some of this is things that I believe based on interacting with him for a long time, but they are beliefs. It was very odd because I had told him extensively that, you know, Flynn was incredibly close with President Trump. At the time, as it's been reported, the FBI was about ready to pull its investigation on January 4th before the Oval Office meeting was uh, met where it was the Logan Act and Flynn was discussed. So I don't think he had any independent reason to expect that this would happen to Flynn. He had also bragged to me and talked to others that David Ignatius was one of his big press media contacts.